Now, you may want to stop the action or you may want to blur the action, and that all depends on your shutter speed. Now, the shutter is a mechanism in the camera that controls how long the light passes through the lens before it hits the film or the image sensor. Let me illustrate that first by showing you a picture. This is a stop action picture I took on the beach the other day, and you can see where his legs are really just stopped in midair. There's not much blur going on here. Let me give you a visual of that using a camera. I'm gonna use this old film camera here and take off the lens and also open up the back so you can see the shutter actually work. And I'm going to pick a really fast shutter speed to start with. Right here, I'm going to pick one one-thousandth of a second, okay? And watch how fast the shutter opens and closes. See that? So if something's passing by the lens, it's going to capture it right in midair and stop that action. All right, let me show you a slow shutter speed. And I'll do that by turning the shutter speed to something slow, really slow, like one-eighth of a second. Now watch how long the shutter is open. Okay, that takes a long time. There's a lot of light passing through that lens, okay? So if something's moving past the camera, the motion's going to be blurred, just like in this photograph I took on the beach. And see how everything's blurred? Now, with digital cameras, you're not using a mechanical shutter or film. You're working with an image sensor and that's an electronic device that turns off or on and controls the amount of light passing through the lens. Now, with stop action photography, the techniques you learn are not just for sports photography. You could actually capture the action of a wedding bouquet flying through the air or capture the blurred action of car lights moving down the street at night.